Hello everybody, I hope you're well, and uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video about being in isolation. One of the things you can do while you can't go out is kill hour after hour on Minecraft. If you already played it, go back to it because it's new and improved, there's more going on than you probably realised, and if you've never played it before, now is a great time to find out how, and you play with your kids and friends and whatever else. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a playthrough, mess about, do it fairly quick and maybe you'll find something of interest or maybe not. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you later. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create a world. Uh, so that's obviously there, right. Keep it in survival, um, name it. So I already pre-loaded isolation series and coming down here if you set it to show coordinates, I just find that makes the whole experience more pleasurable. Oh, are we up a, we're up a tree. So this is the spawn point. Um, now, if you don't, there's two things. If you don't like it where you are, which I'm on an island, uh, and I will always respawn at this point until I've crafted a bed and slept. And you can only sleep at night, which makes sense. So I can look at my map and find, yeah, you're normally at one end. You've got two options. I can basically set off and walk, well, swim to the middle of my map, or you can just respawn, you know, delete this, uh, this, this world and save another one. Okay, so we are in our second attempt. This seems, well, more uh, more balanced. We've got a nice biome. We have desert, we have trees, we have uh, mountainous areas. And so I'm still gonna walk into the middle of the map, but this seems like a better start and I don't have to I don't have to swim anywhere. First thing I can do is, oops, pop my map, which is all I've got at the moment, into my offhand, like so. And so it will always be there. Now, all Minecrafters know you have to get tools first, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so this is just a perfect game for isolation. And the beginning of Minecraft is always the best, I think. I think it's the most enjoyable. Um, it's a whole new environment. Um, I don't know, there's just something that's really exciting. Let's see, we're, so we, we'll head in towards the middle of this map, but later on we will make a bigger map, and therefore this will probably be in the top left corner, but if I can sprint, because we'll... Oh yeah, we want some food, and there's some pigs there, but just for now, I want to get a bit closer to the middle of the map before I worry about bedding down for the night. Uh, definitely take this. I'm not even wasting any tool on that. And I'm gonna just hop in the boat and open up the map. It's the easiest way. Is that a village? I think that is a village which... A village does so much of the work for you. It's just already obviously pre-built and it has farm stuff and it has chests with things in. So this is a much better start point than where I spawned. So this is going to be our first base. And it's even got a little campfire to mark its place. Two campfires. Uh, I, what I do now is that position I've got up, I'm now going to add that to my phone. So I actually always know where that is. Let's see what they have. Ooh, they have a stone cutter, which is going to speed up cutting stone. Obviously, this is just uh, it's a total. Not, it's not a cheat, but I mean, look at that. There we go. Well, it might not look like much, but I am set for food, and and even I'll take the leather armor. I mean, I have no armor on. Now they, those pigs are already penned up. All I need to feed those is carrots, and these guys. No doubt, we'll actually have grown some carrots somewhere. Another, yeah, ooh, upgrade time. Look at that, beautiful. Right, that, see what I mean? This, a village is just, it's just the way to go. I'm even gonna take the chest. Boom, 
What do you got? Right, they've got a furnace, but for, ah, a bed. That is really what I want. This first night, I have now slept in the bed, which means I'm not gonna, if I die, I'm gonna wake up at this place. Uh, and this is gonna be my, now my travel bed. Uh, let's see if you've got anything for me. There's a cat and a, a golem. But again, because they're protected, uh, creepers don't like cats, do they? And, uh, oh, this is interesting. And, uh, ooh, and it also has uh, the big guard, what not called a guardian, iron golem. They keep other nasties at bay. So, as you can see, free food. Meat. I've always been the person to get Minecraft meat. So that, you know, you make a animal farm for the meat. But no, I, I learned recently, which you may already know, that it's the carbs that actually work better in Minecraft. The bread keeps you full up for longer, uh, and potatoes, and the cookies, when you make cookies. So I'm gonna have to remember to replant these carrots because I will be left with some. Okay, that's awesome. Right, so initially, I'm pretty damn good for armor, and good for food. I mean, that's it, it doesn't take any cooking, so I'm not wasting, you know, loads of time on, on worrying about cooking. So I've already written down where um, my village is. I can see it vaguely on the map. But now what I'm going to do where it's safe to do so, I'm going to just simply go down and open this map up down one way. So back to my boat. I'm going to use the coastline to open my map. Right, so bottom left of the map it's very snowy, but there are a lot of trees, and then I see beyond the bottom another village. Oh, and a nice ravine. So, this is why it's really useful just to get an idea of what is around. I can sleep in this village, no chance of, well, little less chance of death, let's say. I've just, I've only, I've only done it a few times where I've actually done this method of oh, you open a map and you're in, you're in the corner. I visit the other corners and quite often there's something of note. And uh, whether that's just a coincidence, but it really seems to be working out for me. Um, yeah, Blast Furnace. That's, uh, again, just really quick way to get three good items. Some free carrots and and bread, so no worries about that. I'd always be finding myself worry, um, hungry for food all the time. And this this way, it's just a breeze. This, you know what, this has got so many furnaces in it. I should actually do the right thing, which is steal them, unfortunately for them. Okay, bottom middle of map, there is a third village. Oh yes. We cannot let those go by. Once again, another great thing to take. I might not be able to take all this right now. I might have to, I know, sorry dude, but I might have to come back for some of this, leave it in a chest, but. Right, that is gonna save me a lot of trouble. All right, how full are we? Well, there's still a lot I can actually dispense with. Is this? another village just off the bottom of my map. Uh, let's head to the outskirts. Ah, it's getting a bit greener. Yeah, just on this corner of the map. I really think there's something to this corner of the map thing. I just don't know. Seems like there's a little... a little, uh, something just to pull your interest at each corner of the map, or around the edges. Okay, we're back on warmer climate now. I cannot tell if that's a structure. I think I see the corner of another village. And if that is a village, <clears throat> I think that is going to be preferable. Yes, it's a village. Yeah. No, oh, it's bees. Okay, we found the winner. This is definitely the winner. Close to the snow, close to the sea, just 
perfect in the green. Um, great, I'm happy with this. So, that's a nice little food place. I could, I could kind of knock those together, but... Ooh, yes, please. I'm going to leave that there because I do feel that this is the village I want to be in. Alright, I slept in that village. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure where I want to live, whether I, I kind of make a staircase going down there to here. I don't know. Anyway, that's not important right now. The point is that I am pretty much safe in my little village and I can explore from here. So I am going to leave this video here for now. We found where we're going to live. We can worry about the details the next session, the next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, please play this with your kids, your family, your friends, because it's a great time consumer and that is kind of what we all need right now. It's relaxing. Well, sometimes it does get a bit fretful, but in the most part, it's relaxing. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!